This is an acceptance video for Logitech 1WBS2 wafer binder and the uh, Edwards E2M 1.5 pump that goes with it. Uh, as you can see, there's some other parts like that. The uh, vacuum hose, uh, water hose, extra packing, pump filters, separators. These are the um, fittings that came with it. Some various hose pads and such. The original fittings for the uh, for the coolant lines right here, here, then a uh, connection for the CDA input for the bonding pressure. We just have a separate fixture. We just have a little fitting that we uh, use for testing purposes. Connected right now, as well as just some other lines here for the coolant water in return. And uh, this is the backing line that will be supplied with the uh, with the pump, as well as the oil. When we got it, the the, uh, the pump had not been used other than probably tested at the factory, so the oil had not been unpacked, and uh, the machine was basically unused. We power it up real quickly here. See if I can get so we don't have so much glare on the display. Uh, set up, um, kicking it down through the menus here. Uh, process control. We're just going to do a little simple heat and outgas program. It's very short. It's just something we've used for testing purposes. Just to verify that the machine is working properly. Although it's new, we always like to test stuff, any, any equipment we get. Just to make sure that there is no, there are no mortality issues or anything like that associated with it. Uh, one thing I will do actually will show. We have run it a few hours here, but you can see the total run time sitting idle, powered up, has been 15 hours. The heater uh, has been on for three hours and the pump for an hour and 21 minutes. So essentially, a new machine, and like I said, all that time was put on by us. get out of here and get a process started in a minute. Uh, just uh, do a quick peek at the chamber here. Um, we got it, it had the three inch glass disc, spacer ring, and the little paper cover here. We're also shipping it with a four inch glass disc um, since that's what the customer is going to be running. Sensors back up real quickly. Oops. Wait just a second here, trying to do this one handed. There we go. start the process. It will pump down to, to at or below 0.1 millibar, millibar and uh, it will proceed once it's hit 0.1 millibar and 110 process point set point here. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes to heat and out gas so I'll just pause while it gets up close to that point. And we'll take a take a break for a minute. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, we're approaching the uh, 110 degree set point. And you can see that the vacuum gauge here is reading. It should be running about. Uh, we're running roughly. 12 pounds of 12 psi bonding pressure. Okay, we're at 110 now. Should go to soak shortly. We do have a very short soak, just a couple of minutes. We'll probably just keep going until it goes to the bond step. 
we did also test this at 150C. While well, it's uh, counting down there, we'll go ahead and zoom around the back here. We uh, did pull the cover off the machine just to check and make sure everything looked good inside and it's pristine, clean as a whistle, uh, which is what you'd expect from uh, an essentially unused machine. We don't often get machines this this nice a condition. So it's nice to be able to work on something like this. There we go. And I'll give it a second here. As I said, the vacuum pump uh, is also new. Well, I'm going to but, uh, I'll go back to that. Now in the bonding cycle, you see the vacuum drops to zero in a minute or so you get the uh, bonding pressure here in solenoid valve kick in. Okay, now you have the air pressure, positive pressure. You can see the pressure climb to 10 psi.
Okay, now we're going to cooling. You'll hear the pump stay on solidly. See the temperature begin to drop here. It'll just continue running. Uh, basically, these machines just use a oil to water heat exchanger. You have a cooling oil that circulated through the through the head, underside of the head here, and the wood pump by small electric pump, which you hear running at the moment, and it goes into a heat exchanger where water's emitted through this line right here through a solenoid valve that opens when the pump comes on and um, the heat is just transferred to the water which is run out to a drain or through a uh, chiller works pretty well we'll uh, pause until it's going to take a few minutes to get down to 50C the uh, end point so I'll just pause while we wait for that. Okay, we're back. As you can see, the, we're at 51C for coolant water, in point 50 degrees. So, okay, there you go. So we hit 50. As you can see, the uh, pressure is going back to ambient. And we're shut down as far as the pump process terminated. So that's pretty much it. You will hear the uh, pump cycle on and off a bit as it gets down around the uh, either the uh, set point of for during the process if it overshoots just a tad you'll hear the pump come on for a split second or two and same thing once it reaches the uh, end point it'll go down it'll read 50 then it may see 50 again for a second and then it'll come back on for a second and then off again we'll do that two or three times and that's normal so that's it